In this video, we're going to start to take a look at hexadecimal numbers, which is a way of being able to represent binary numbers in a more compact and easier to read format. So the idea of hexadecimal is that rather than being base 2 or base 10, we're actually going to be in base 16. That means that there's 16 different digits that we could possibly choose from. So we have the values 0 to 9. And then for the values beyond 9, we actually represent them using alphabet letters. So we have A to F. So these are the different digits that we have available to us, and each of them represents a single value. So 0 you know, maps to 0, 1 maps to 1, and so on and so forth. What happens is A will map to 10, B will map to 11, C will map to 12, and that continues until you reach F, which maps to 15. And that gives us all 16 values from 0 to 15. Now, the reason why we use hexadecimal is because it's very effective at representing binary numbers. Let me tell you how that works. So with binary numbers, I sort of mentioned before that we can divide up the numbers into four bits like this. So we could say this is four bits, this is four bits. The whole thing makes a byte, but each of them can be subdivided into sort of like four bits. And the reason why we do this is because each of these four bits can be represented as one hexadecimal value. The reason for this is because consider if all of the bits were one, which would be the highest possible value. If that were to happen, the value would be the following. It would be, um, we would have one plus two plus four plus eight, right? That would give us 10, 14, 15, right? So 15 is the largest possible value, and that would be equal to F in our hexadecimal system. So what that means is that any of these four bytes, or four bits rather, can be represented as a single hexadecimal value. So let me give you an example. Suppose that we have the following binary numbers. Suppose we have um, 0100, 1101. What I could do is I could represent this in hex. So I could take each of these different pieces and write their corresponding hexadecimal value. So this one is um, 1, 4, and 8. So that would give us 8, 9, 13, right? So this would be 13, which would be equal to which hexadecimal value? Well, we know that A is equal to 10. We know that B is equal to 11. C is equal to 12. D is equal to 13. So this value would be D in hexadecimal. Now this one here would be equal to 4. So that would just be 4. So to represent this value in hexadecimal, well, it's just equal to 4D, and that's the representation. Now, the reason why we like hexadecimal is because it's a lot easier to read and interpret compared to binary numbers, right? If I have an absolutely massive binary number, right, something, say, that we would see in ARM assembly where we have like a 32-bit number or even like a 64-bit number, if we were looking at that in the straight binary, we'd have 32 digits to interpret or 64 digits to interpret, and that's a lot. What the hex lets us do is it lets us divide that, right? So rather than having 32 different values to interpret, we have, um, if we divide them up into sets of four, we would have eight hexadecimal values. And that's a lot easier to read than 32 values are, right? And then with 64, you end up just doubling that amount. So rather than having eight, you would have 16. And those 16, again, is going to be a little bit easier for you to read through comparative to having to read through each individual binary value. So that's the idea of hexadecimal. Really, it's just a better way of being able to represent and read binary numbers. So I just wanted to give you the interpretation of how you create hexadecimal from binary and why we actually care about hexadecimal. You're going to see hex used a lot more in low-level programming than you will binary. However, it still is helpful to think of binary in a lot of cases. When we talk about bitwise operations, for instance, we're going to speak in binary rather than hex. So it's helpful to understand both of them and to be able to transition between them um, using hex when you want to be able to quickly read a number and then using binary when you want to be able to understand how a number is being manipulated and changed. So thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I'm going to dive into a little bit more about general um, low-level architecture as well as data representations in low-level and operations that we can run on these different data interpretations.